Hi, I'm Doug Goldstein. I am the co-author of the book Rich as a King, How the Wisdom of Chess Can Make You a Grand Master of Investing. I wrote the book with world chess champion Susan Polgar. In the book we talk about mutual funds and we also talk about exchange traded funds. And this video blog is just to point out one important fact that I think a lot of people miss about exchange traded funds and specifically about index funds. A lot of times people will say, why don't I just invest, for example, in the S&P 500, the Standard & Poor's 500, which is an index of 500 major stocks that trade on the U.S. Stock Exchange. And not only do they say it, but lots and lots of people do. Now, because a lot of people do it, that's certainly no reason for you to do it. You have to make sure you invest in accordance with your own financial plan and make sure you research all of the details. So this video blog is just a brief bit of information to hopefully get you to ask some questions, but it's in no way an investment recommendation. Here's one interesting fact, or I'll ask you a question, let's say, about the S&P 500. How many stocks do you suppose the S&P 500 represents? Right, 500. It's in the name. So what a lot of people think when they buy this index is they think, great, I own 500 different stocks, and they do, but the thing they really need to understand is that they do not own an equal amount in each of the 500 stocks. So it's not a fairly balanced index. Specifically, about 10 of the stocks in the S&P 500 represent more than half of the return of the index. So what does that mean? Let's say those 10 stocks do great. So the index is going to do great. But if those 10 stocks don't do so well if they drop just 10 of the 500, no matter how well the 490 other stocks do, those 10 stocks will have a huge influence on your return. So if you buy an index fund, make sure you see whether it is a capitalization weighted fund, which means that the companies, the bigger companies, the bigger capitalization, those companies are the ones that will affect the price per share of the exchange traded fund or the index fund that you're buying. There are, of course, equal weighted ETFs, which you should investigate, and you should also know that mutual funds, which are actively managed, will normally not way overweight in just a few different stocks. Now, there are pros and cons to everything, and again, I'm not recommending an ETF over a mutual fund, but I just want you to be aware of this critical fact that I have found almost no one who I, speaks to know, who I speak to knows anything about the fact that the S&P 500, as well as many, many other indexes, is a capitalization weighted index and that can radically affect the results of your portfolio. So thanks very much for joining me. Be sure you sign up for all of the blogs at richasaking.com. This was just one of our video blogs. Hope you enjoyed it.